And now, we here at Stateside Footy present a viewer's guide to Australian rules football, or as it's quite commonly referred to, footy. Australian rules football is one of the most popular sports in Australia. It's a blend of speed, precision, and physical contact, and is often a rough, tough, high-scoring affair. The game is played using an oblong ball, similar to the ball used in American or Canadian football, but with rounder, less pointy ends. The ball is also nicknamed the footy. A typical game of footy consists of four 20-minute quarters. The field, or ground as it's called, is oval-shaped and is usually 150 meters long by 110 meters wide. There are only a few markings on the field. There's the center square, in which the opening contest for possession take place. The center square is flanked by two long arcs known as the 50-meter lines. They're there to indicate the distance from the goal. That's their only function. Then there are the goal squares, which extend out from between the goal posts at each end. At both ends of the field, there's a set of four posts. The object of the game is to amass the highest score by kicking the ball through these posts. The two inner posts are called the goal posts. If you kick the ball through the goal posts, that is a goal, and your team gets six points. The ball can either travel through the air or along the ground, as long as it goes between the goal posts without making contact with other players or the goal posts themselves. The outer posts are called the behind posts. Any ball kicked between one of the behind posts and one of the goal posts is called a behind and is worth one point. A behind will also be awarded if the kicked ball hits one of the goal posts or if it's touched by another player before it goes through the goal posts. In either case, one point is awarded. Scores in Australian football are given in three parts, similar to a box score in baseball, except instead of runs, hits and errors, you'll see goals, behinds and total points. When you see a score listed in this way, for instance, 12, 7, 79, it means a team scored 12 six-point goals and seven one-point behinds for a total score of 79 points. Each team consists of 22 players, 18 of which are on the field at any time. The four remaining players sit on the interchange bench and change out back and forth with the players on the field as needed. The game starts with an opening ball up or ruck. It's a basic contest for possession of the ball and it's just like the opening tip-off at a basketball game. The umpire either throws the ball up or bounces it off the ground and both sides jump for control of it. A ball up takes place at the start of each quarter after a goal has been kicked and if the ball is in a pile of tackled players on the ground. The ball is also thrown up for grabs from the boundary line anytime the ball rolls, bounces or is carried out of bounds. Once a player has possession of the ball, he can do three things with it. The player can run with it. You're allowed to carry and run with the ball, but the ball must be bounced off the ground every 15 meters as this is going on. The player can hand pass it to a teammate. In footy, throwing the ball to a teammate is not allowed. These hand passes, called handballs, are executed by holding the ball in one hand and punching it out of the hand with the closed fist of the other hand, just like an underhanded volleyball serve. Or the player can kick the ball to a teammate. If the ball travels more than 15 meters and is caught on the fly, that is called a mark. The umpire will blow the whistle to signal the mark and award the player who caught the ball a free kick from the spot where the ball was caught. The player can either stop and use the free kick or play on to continue to advance the ball up the field if his team is in an advantageous situation. There are two types of marks, an uncontested mark in which the player is by himself when he catches the ball, or a contested mark where a number of players are all going for the ball at the same time. If a player on the opposing team catches the ball on the fly, then he is awarded or paid the mark and given the option to use a free kick or play on and move the ball. In addition to marks, free kicks are also paid if a player is running with the ball and gets tackled without properly disposing of the ball. This is called holding the ball and will get the opposition a free kick. If a player is pushed down with a hand or hands to the back, a push on the back violation will be assessed to the guilty party and the player who was pushed gets the free kick. If a player kicks a ball out of bounds on the fly, the ball is considered to have gone out on the full and the opposing team gets the free kick. Or if a team has scored a behind. After the behind has been scored, the opposing team gets a free kick from the back goal square. Though the players on the field have assigned positions, the game is free-flowing and players will wind up going back and forth up and down the entire field continuously. At the end of the game, or full time, the team with the most points is the winner. If the score is tied or level at full time, then the game ends in a draw. One quick note, a lot of people will see the game being played and assume it's rugby. Australian rules football is not rugby. Though there are similarities, namely in the balls used in the respective games, the dominance of rugby in some parts of Australia, and some of the physical contests for ball possession along the ground, there are major differences between the two games, such as footy is played on an oval-shaped field, while both codes of rugby are played on a rectangular gridiron-style field like those used in American and Canadian football. In rugby, 
The ultimate goal is to carry the ball over the goal line. In footy, the ultimate goal is to kick it over the goal line. In rugby, you can throw the ball to a teammate, but you can't pass the ball forward. In footy, you can pass the ball forward, you just can't throw it. And that's a quick guide to Australian rules football. There's more to the game, including the awarding of 50 meter penalties and the like, but this quick clip should be enough to get you on your way to watching and hopefully following along with an Australian rules football match. Thanks for watching and get ready next for stateside footy.